Hey y'all, Reshmite here from IBM, and today I'm going to show you all how to create a timeline or an iteration in IBM's Engineering Workflow Management. First, log into Workflow Management, and to do this, you must be an administrator of the space. If you've done both of those, go up to the top right hand corner and click on the gear icon, then when you mouse over it, it says Administration. From the drop down menu, click on Manage this project area. This will now take us to the backend settings that you must be an admin to edit. Click on Timelines, and I've already done some previous tutorials, so I'm just going to create a timeline from scratch. And I'll just click on Create Timeline, and I'm just going to leave this as default as New Timeline. We can change the start date, and I will push this out uh, a month. And we can select the duration in weeks. And what we need to do is we need to add some stuff below it. So we can click on the plus and add child iterations. And I'll just keep on adding iteration after iteration. I'll just name it new iteration one, two, and three. And we can set the total of weeks. So I'll do two, two, and four. And then over here, we can see the planned dates for those iterations, and we can also check off the scheduled days that we want our workforce to work between, and we can select the start and end time. Finally, I'll click on OK, and make sure you hit on Save. If you want to switch the timeline that the project is on, we can see that the project timeline is for the main development, but if we want to switch it to this, all we need to do is click on that timeline, click on Edit Properties, and click on Use This Timeline as the Project Timeline. Finally, make sure you click save, and to get back to where we started today, all you need to do is click on Explore Project. 